Alrighty, boom bitty boom welcome back to the channel. I missed my midweek video, but we're back here with another video. We're chatting about Facebook ads, and we're, and we're going to get at the real sort of root secret, uh, secret sauce. I spent almost a million dollars on Facebook ads pretty much in the last year, and I want to share with you some of the stuff I've learned. I want to unveil for you what goes on when you spend money on Facebook ads. What's the goal? Why do some people say it works? Why do some people blow up their businesses? You know, why do some people still use this tool to unlock massive wealth while other people, you know, bitch and complain about Mark Zuckerberg just wants your money and they don't work and all this stuff, right? So I've obsessed over this stuff for the past like two years, um, year and a half really, but I've obsessed, I've spent a shit ton of money and I can tell you that I would not have spent that money if it was not making me money back. So let's dive into that. A lot of you guys who are watching this might be in e-commerce, you might wanna start your own brand, you might wanna sell your own stuff and you might wanna use Facebook ads as a way to do that. So let's chat about what Facebook ads look like in 2024 and ultimately, and this hasn't really changed that much, the secret to them actually working or not working. There's two parts to this. And I'm not gonna get into like direct response and marketing and the content of the ads in this, that'll have to be another video. But I just wanna unpack for you, unveil for you, like the reality of marketing on Facebook in 2024 and uh, how you can be successful, why you, why you would not be successful and what you need to do in order to be successful. So this took me a while to kind of realize and when people are starting out, they often get I think discouraged because uh, they don't realize how Facebook works. They don't realize how to harness the power of Facebook for their advertising, for their business, so that they can get customers and grow their business. So Facebook is a great way to get new customers. Uh, since they rolled out the Apple platform, it's been that way. It still is that way today. It's just different because it's like inflation. It's like you, you, you can't go and complain that something you know, that um, a Celsius costs like $4 when, when a drink used to cost like $2. It's just life, right? Like, so is it more expensive? Yes, but everything's more expensive. So that's the first thing to get out of the way. But if you account for, yeah, it's just gotten more expensive. So is everything else. And other than that, it still works. So here's how you want to think about Facebook. It's a great way to uh, grow your business. I, I still believe it's the best channel to grow your business on. People might disagree uh, on that. Um, but still a great way to grow your business and still a great way to grow an e-commerce business. So here's the thing in a sentence, uh, what you, what you need to think about Facebook as is an amplifier. So the mistake happens when people think that Facebook alone is going to make them rich. They think that the ads should create for them a business. The ads don't create your business for you. The ads don't uh, make your product better. The ads don't do any of that. They can only amplify what you have and they can only bring people into the business model that you have. It's the business's job to make the money. It's the business's job when you get customers to deliver a really good result, to deliver good customer service, to deliver an amazing experience where they want to come back. That's all on you. That's not on Zuck. That is on you. And if you set that up correctly, then you don't need to stress if it costs you maybe even like a hundred dollars, depending on your business, but like for e-commerce, probably more like 50. Um, you don't need to stress if it costs you $50 to bring a new customer into your business because you know that customer is going to stick with you for a year, two years, five years, who knows, 10 years, and maybe spend 500, a thousand, $1,500, $2,000 with you. That'll differ based off the business model. But the point is, and shout out to Professor Charlie on YouTube because he talks about Facebook in this way and it is helpful. You need to think about buying uh, profitable customer journeys. It's gone are the days, like there's these little windows when it's like, oh yeah, you can get a five row as you spend, you spend $20 and you get like five sales and you make $100 or whatever that is. That's not gonna happen anymore. You're not gonna do that. So if you go in with the mindset of thinking, oh, I should, I should uh, put in $20 and make like, you know, $100, $200, that's probably not going to happen. Um, it could, but it's probably not going to happen. You need to think, can I spend a dollar, make $2 back and cover my costs and get a customer? And then can I build a business where that customer comes back to me in a month or two months or three months? And, you know, I've already broken even on that customer, but then they buy again and then there's profit. 
And then if they come back, there's even more profit. And so like if you pay $50 to get a customer, the first time it costs you $50 to get that customer. But the more times they come back, the less you've paid Facebook each time for that, right? If it's split over two sales, it's $25 a sale to Facebook. If they come back like five times, it only costs you $10 each time, or it costs you $50 up front. And then the rest of the time, you already have that customer, you've already acquired them, so you don't need to pay for them again, so your profits are higher. It's all about the customer journey. And so as I started to like explore, not just e-commerce, but different business models, like and people like Alex Hermosi talking about this, people like Alex Becker, people like Russell Brunson, and in the, the the model is always the same. It's like, can you, who can pay the most to acquire a customer? I think Russell Brunson or Dan Kennedy said that, and that's, that's what this comes down to. Um, if you need to run ads and just make that $10 on your first sale and you have nothing else to sell people and that's the end of the customer journey, then yeah, it's gonna be really friggin' hard to sell your coconut water brand with Facebook ads because it's gonna cost you $50 to sell a pack of these for $40. So you're already $10 down. Um, but like, you're gonna need these people to come back and buy, if you're gonna, if that model's gonna work, they need to love this stuff and they need to buy another pack of this like within the next 30 days. Like you don't wanna, you don't wanna be running a deficit to then hope people come back and pay. Now that's where like venture capital comes in and where some companies will literally lose money. You know, they'll pay the $50 and they're literally, you know, they only make $40, but then they're betting on the fact that the person's gonna come back within 30 days. That means they're 30 days profitable if the, if the person comes back. We wanna break even or even make a dollar or two in the first sale, but you need to go into it with that expectation. You need to go into the Facebook marketing world with the idea that, listen, I am just trying to get some customers here I'm not gonna get rich off these first sales. You wanna make a few dollars if you can, but it's about acquiring customer profitable journeys. Can they come back again? Can they come back three times? When Black Friday hits and they're already on my email list, you know, are they gonna buy again at that point? And that's, that's really what it is. So it's finding a way to get the ads to work where you're not losing money and then to sell the customers something else. Now, People test this in different ways. They go high ticket on the front end and then there's something else later or you know, they do cheap on the front end and hope to sell them something else later. There's different ways of doing this, but it literally comes down to the different ways that you can pay for your Facebook ads, um, bring in enough money to then reinvest to go get two customers um, and then keep growing this thing. So you bring in enough money to then keep going and then the longer you stretch that out, the more time these people have to come back to your business and buy again. So don't go into Facebook expecting to get like $10 acquisitions, like, you know, 4X ROAS, 5X ROAS. Like, don't look at it that way. Look at what can I pay up to, to, to get a customer? And then is it worth it? Because that's what you got to evaluate. It does your business work? Because if your business works, then you should be able to spend enough to get a customer and you shouldn't be stressing. Like you shouldn't be stressing and you shouldn't be blaming Facebook if it costs you $50. If you're getting customers for $50, $50, $60 and you can't make it work, you need to take a look at your business model because you haven't built a business that that works really. Um, because if you can't if you can't absorb that cost, that's a problem. That's on you. So I think that's pretty much it. Like you need to look at Facebook as can you acquire customers, can you pay enough that you don't lose money, that in the longer term you make money. So you gotta zoom out a little bit and you gotta think about it that way. Um, that's kind of it. Like, other than that, we can do a video about the setup and stuff like that. And that that gets into the actual ads you're gonna run, the types of ads, the campaign setup. Uh, but the long and the short of it is, you can set up an Advantage Plus campaign, that's what it's called. You throw a few creatives, a few statics even, they don't have to be pretty, make them in Canva, throw them in an Advantage Plus campaign, open targeting, uh, and let Facebook do the work and test it from there. But if you're getting like $50 acquisitions in e-commerce, that's pretty good. If you can get them down to 40, that's obviously better because we want to be profitable. Like if your average order value, and it should be over $70, that's important. Like you, that's another thing, you don't for, like this doesn't work if you're selling a $20 product. Like you just, it's, you'll just lose. How are you gonna pay for shipping? How are you gonna, like, 
it doesn't work. So you want like 70 to $100 AOV. The closer you get to 100, the better it gets and the better chance you have of actually being profitable in that first sale. You know, taking home five, 10, $20 in the first sale, that's awesome. Then it's just a bonus after that. If you're profitable in the first sale, like that gets really cool. But the expectation you need to set is like, can I just use this to grow my business by bringing people into my ecosystem and that knowing that one in five people come back. The more data you have, the longer you're in business, the more you can look at these numbers and say, you'll know if people are coming back, you'll know how long it takes on average someone to come back. You'll know on average how many times someone buys from you. So maybe it's like 1.2. So it's like 20% of people are gonna come back. You run the numbers, you run the math on that and you're like, okay, you start to figure out the lifetime value of your customer even over a year and you start to say, okay, 50 sounds like a lot to pay for a customer, but I know on average I make like $100 and after I pay my other costs, it's $25 of profit per customer. So even if I break even, I know I'm gonna make some money on them later and ergo, it is worth spending money on Facebook ads. That's how you gotta look at it. You gotta not be afraid to spend the money, but you gotta understand that you're paying a lot of money to get people into your business. It's like an investment, but it's a pretty friggin' fast investment compared to some of the stocks or whatever. So it's like, if you can put money in, get money back, even if you're breaking even at first, that's great. That's how it works. This is literally it. This is what people are doing. The people who keep spending ads, they've built a business that works where Facebook doesn't have to be this, like this is where the media buyers, it's kind of like they're dead. They don't matter. Like it's the business that matters. And that's maybe the biggest takeaway. It took me so long to learn this. It's like, how do I hack Facebook ads? What's like the Facebook ad secret? And I'm telling you guys right now, it's like, aside from just learning to make creatives, which is basically uh, making attention grabbing ads with like a direct response principles and uh, hooks and messaging, which gets into the whole branding thing and the whole product thing and the whole way you build your brand to be attractive when you make ads. Um, like that's all, that's all off Facebook. It's 90% off Facebook. <laughs> Facebook just is the window it's like the way to expose what you're doing, get people in, but then your business needs to do the rest of the work. It needs to sell people on, on your products and it needs to have a path where you can make these, you, you can have profitable customer journeys. Um, so like you don't need to buy a Facebook ads course. Uh, this is like, like you can look up how to make the actual ads on YouTube or whatever. Uh, this is kind of it. You can run one campaign, you can, just tweak it till you get people buying at like a break even rate. And that's just gonna be your ads. Like you, this is kind of all you need to know. All you need to know is your cost of acquisition. That's that's actually kind of it. If no one's clicking, it's like you have a shitty ad. But if people are clicking and no one's buying, it's like that's not Facebook's fault anymore. And that's not even your ad's fault. Like if people are clicking through, and you have a decent click through rate, like above 1% even, then your Facebook ads work. It's like your business doesn't work. I don't want to keep repeating myself. It This sounds kind of like simple or oversimplified, but this is the whole deal. This is how you still leverage Facebook in 2024 to grow your business. I hope this helps. Peace.